see. Check this out. And three, two, one, pop! <laughs> Pretty cool, right? You can try it too Yuck! if you... Pretty good at this. You guys are working way too hard. You're always looking to one up us, aren't you? One seriously cool temple. Yeah, points for Ivor, I guess. This was a good tip. Well, Jesse? Order of the Stone, let's get some treasure. Treasure! So much for treasure. This cupboard is bare. Come on, you know how these places work. The treasure's never just out in the open. Let's fan out and search the place. Hi, Petra. Who's Petra? <laughs> Kidding. Okay, I'm gonna keep trying to solve this. Disappointed if the floor didn't open up into a dark, creepy passageway. This kind of reminds me of when we first found the Order's Temple. We were such a scared bunch of noobs back then. Hey, I wasn't scared. No. Then who was it that was yelling, Help me! Help me! The dispensers are trying to kill me! Wow, yeah, that feels like it was, I don't know, a million years ago. We packed a lot in since then. And to think. That was just the beginning. Yeah, and that was before we'd fought winter storms, hung out with Enderman, reunited the Order. So crazy. Bingo! All right, let's see what we've got. could be useful if we run into Enderman. And looks like we've got one more thing in here. It's... What did you find? What are you guys talking about? Whoa, that's super cool. I've never seen flint and steel like that before. That glow, is it some sort of enchantment? I don't know. I've seen people put an unbreaking enchantment on flint and steel before, but that's not unbreaking. You could give it a shot and find out. Okay, flint and steel, do your thing. Well, I have definitely never seen flint and steel do that before. 
Uh-oh. Looks like some monsters have a death wish. So what's the plan? You ask me, it seems like a good time for a secret handshake. Yeah, so let's use the redstone wrap. Obviously. Okay, creeper grab, go! Seriously? Oh man, this is gonna be awesome. You guys, that was amazing! Yeah, pretty spectacular. I tell you guys, doing that never gets old. Woo! Yeah, not too bad. Killing a bunch of monsters, getting sweet treasure. Like that flint and steel thing? You gotta try it again. I'd be curious to see it again, too. I'm dying to know how it works. I'm good. You can give it a shot, though. <laughs> Well, well. Where'd you get the new toy? Order of the losers. Yeah, losers. Ugh, who let you guys out of your cave? Joke's on you, we don't live in a cave. Ugh, what grief are you here to give us now? Look who's talking. So what are you ocelots doing here anyway? The Ocelots were Lucas's gang. We ditched that name just like we ditched him. Yeah, we rebranded. We're the Blaze Rods now. Blaze Rods! Shut up, Gil. Sorry, boss. Wow, you guys are terrible at naming. That's a dumb name. <laughs> Says the heroes that just called their group the New Order of the Stone. And where's Lucas, huh? The minute the Order decided you were cool... For whatever reason... ...he wouldn't stop sniffing around you like a tame dog. You take that back! Mmm... no. Hey, Lucas is ten times the guy you are. Petra, just ignore it. They don't know what they're talking about. Lucas is our friend, Jesse. No one talks about our friends like that. You probably think that thing makes you so special. Classic Jesse. You take all the best stuff and never give anyone else a chance. That should have been ours. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Blaze Rods. Hey, we earned this, all right? Fair and square. Yeah, we fought monsters, lava, and levers to get this thing, and we ain't giving it up. <laughs> Nothing you've ever done has been fair and square, Jesse. Hand over the flint and steel, Jesse. Don't make me ask again. You don't get that one. It's supposed to be mine. 
Go find your own stuff, Aiden. It's not enough that you gotta save the world. You had to go and take all the world's best stuff, too! So, if I want my own stuff, that means I need to take it. From you. I'm tired of listening to your jaw flap. Ah! Ugh. You don't touch me! Some hero you are, Jesse. Let's just go home, you guys. These blaze rods aren't worth it. Fine. What hope do we have when heroes like you are throwing your weight around like this? It's not always going to be this way, though. Come on, you guys. Let's get out of here. Blaze rods! Ooh. I told you to shut up! Look out, Jesse. I don't remember him being that angry before. Wow, us being the new Order of the Stone is really getting to that guy. He's gone crazy. We should be careful. He seems different, scarier. Man, and all because he wanted that flint and steel. What are you going to do with it? Ivor's the one that told us about this temple. He might know something about it. Hopefully Ivor can tell us more about it. Finally starting to recognize stuff again. Feels good to almost be home. Cheers to that, friend. I just can't shake what Aiden was saying about us back there. We do get a lot of treasure. And I guess sometimes we might throw our weight around. What? No. Aiden's got a bad case of treasure envy, pure and simple. I don't know. Yeah, not our fault we're so awesome. I guess so. Well, no matter what Aiden thinks, there's one thing I know. What's that? They think we're awesome. They're back! You guys, they're back! Run! Tell everyone that our heroes have returned! <laughs> yep, New Order of the Stone is back in town. Freaking awesome! It somehow manages to evoke skulls and tentacles. Wow, that is one epic build with the lava. Yeah, yeah, and the skull motif. Awesome. awesome. I will never understand your taste. Not my fault! Look out! Oh, uh, help! Oh, stop your whining. What are your pathetic injuries in comparison to my majestic tower? Ivor? <sighs> of course. Oh, Jesse! You're back! Don't listen to a word these fools tell you! Fire hazard! And your face is an ugly hazard! So I suppose we're even. Man, Ivor, this is really cool. Why, thank you, Jesse. So good to finally see someone with some vision! Jesse, seriously? You can't let him keep this up! Jesse, all I wanted was what any man wants. A little house of my own, with loads of lava pouring off it. Ivor, I know you mean well, but your house wants to kill people. Dude, you made a killer house. Exactly! Killer! Shut up! Ugh. Well, we have to tear it down. We can't let that monstrosity stand. <clears throat> 
It's my house, Jesse. I have just as much a right to build something as all these people, don't I? They're just jealous that I've got vision. Well, they've got... they've got... community planning. Blech! Ivor obviously put a lot of work into his new house. We need to show it the same respect that we would show a house not dripping with lava. Leave it. I'm sure we can find a way to work around it, okay? Long live my lava house. Long live lava! Thanks, Jesse! That's right. Keep walking. Keep walking! Always nice to see a gracious winner. Ha ha. Haven't seen you around in a while. So what can I do for you, Jesse? Ivor, we found something in that temple you told us about. What? You did? <laughs> yes! Great to see you again. Let's do lunch. I'll bring the carrots. There's no telling who's listening. Meet me in the treasure room. Ten minutes. And bring the thing you found! Well, if we're going to keep that thing up, we should at least encase the lava in some glass to make it safer. But, like, not too safe. Come on, help me collect some sand. And you can make sure that when we make it into glass, it's the right amount of safe. Okay. We'll catch up with you later. Yeah, once we make sure this art gets the respect it deserves. Nice work today, guys. Yeah, not bad, right? Mm, it's like we should do this more often or something. Later, guys! Come on, let's go find Ivor. Wow, this place is really shaping up. Oh, hey guys. You have some pretty cool stuff in here. Crazy stuff. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. Hey, Lucas, great to see you. It's been a while. I really missed you guys. Well, we missed you too. And you have so many other treasures. Boy, you've sure been busy. Oh, wow. You framed it. I'm him. Yeah. How are you doing? I still feel guilty about it. Every time I see another pig, all I can think about is how Reuben died because I put him in danger. He didn't die in some accident, Jesse. He sacrificed himself. He was a hero. Yeah, doesn't make me feel any less guilty, though. <sighs> okay, guys. I promise I wasn't just here to bum everybody out. I actually came back because I need to tell you something. It's about this weird run-in I had with Aiden. Ugh, I hate that guy. Whatever you said or did, it really got to him. Oh, great. And what did he have to say? Apparently someone told him about Ivor giving you a tip, some kind of treasure. He really wanted to find it first. Ha, beat him. He's just been so jealous of you and the rest of the Order ever since you saved the world from the Witherstorm. He's convinced that he was supposed to be a hero. Ever since he took over the Ocelot, the Blaze Rods, it just seems like he's gotten meaner. He's pushing Maya and Gil around. Jealous? Why? He thinks you're a big bully, Jesse. Looting and keeping all the good stuff for yourself. So what'd you find that got Aiden so excited, anyway? Check it out. Wow. What a weird glow. Yeah, I know. I'm supposed to show it to... You found it! Yeah! What? Dude, what's wrong with you? This is the greatest find of our time. I can't believe you're actually... That you're actually holding this. So how'd you know where it was? Endless research into the cracks in reality. The artifacts that shape and bend the rules as we know them. Uh, what? That glow. That enchantment is the work of a very old group of builders. A group so old that they existed even before the Order of the Stone. Whoa. Yeah. Dramatic. So, what's the flint and steel do, then? Uh, not 100% sure, actually. But I suspect that it's related to the exciting part. 
You see if these builders truly existed. And if you found their temple, that means we're one step closer to finding the Eversource. What a beautiful sight. Looks like you came back just in time, Lucas. More powerful artifacts, huh? You're stunned, right? I haven't even told you what it does yet. The Eversource is said to be an object of incredible power possessed by the old builders. It was some sort of treasure or artifact that gave them an endless supply of precious materials. Think about it, Jesse. That temple must have been its hiding place. Wow. Old builders? You learn something new every day. Well, what are we waiting for, then? We've already been to that temple once. Finding it again will be a snap. Old builders, ever sources, ancient mysteries? You know I'm in. Excellent! I'll pack my adventuring things immediately. Wait, he's coming? Wow, sounds like you guys have a lot to get to. I, uh, guess I'll take off? Nope, you're coming with. I need a buffer between me and Ivor. Let's get moving. This is so exciting. <laughs> Adventure! Lucas, I know it's daytime, but watch our backs, okay? I can't believe we're bringing Ivor with us. I mean, it's nice that he's so excited, but... Ugh. Not my top choice for adventuring companion. Hey, you can't argue that when it comes to all this ancient history and treasure, Ivor knows a lot. Sure, that's true. These trees are enormous! I love it so much! He just really gets on my nerves sometimes. Remarkable. Look at this architecture. So old. So exquisite. Oh... This is just how I dreamed it would be. Except for less cake. My dreams usually involve cake. So, you think it's the right place then? Oh yes, Jesse. Oh yes, I very much do. Wow, it looks so different during the day. Okay, but careful what you touch. There could be traps everywhere. Petra, long guy, are you two as excited as I am? I'm not sure that's possible. What? She means that you just seem to be super excited, Ivor. Well, that wasn't there last night. That looks promising. I'm heading up. Fantastic! We'll follow right behind you. Uh, yeah. What he said. So you... Think this Eversource thing is up here? Hard to say, Jesse. As the story goes, the old builders feared its potential, so they hid it away in a place where it would never be found. And well, ha! That seems it never has been. Jesse, what do you see? <gasps> Some kind of portal? It's just as I'd imagined. Spectacular. That's a weird-looking portal. Have you seen anything like it before? No. The old builders experimented with portals, but this is different from anything I've seen. Here goes nothing. Thanks for bringing this back to me, Jesse. I knew you were good for something. You're pretty easy to follow, you know that? You're gonna regret that, Aiden. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, yeah? Shut up, Gil! Step aside, Jesse. We're heading through that portal now. Oh, no way! Aiden, you're done. This is where it ends. Fine. Blaze rods! Clear me a path.
We've got to follow them. If they get the Eversource, who knows what trouble they'll cause. Yeah, we're going, because I'm going to get that Eversource first. Come on. Uh, that's what I'd like to hear. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Uh, Don't worry, I've got you! Oh, you are surprisingly heavy. I am. Uh, the proportionate weight for my height. Thank you very much! There you go. Easy now. Yes, thank you, thank you! Definitely don't want to fall down there. Any sign of the blaze rods? No, nothing! Do you think Aiden knew about all this? The portal? The Eversource? He definitely seems to know now. Hey, uh, you guys see that? What? So very strange. If that island is a settlement or whatever, that's our best bet to find aid. The city and the clouds. It almost sounds impossible. I just don't know how we're gonna reach it. Yeah, that's definitely gonna be a problem. I can't believe this. We fall through a portal into another world, and then we can't even go anywhere. I don't suppose anyone packed one of those flying machines. Eh, that's more Olivia's bag. Yeah, I've got nothing. It was worth a shot. Guess we could just settle for a bridge. I don't know. Seems like a long way. Do we have enough blocks? I mean, it's really, really far. Yes. Very astute, Lucas. Elementary, my dear Lucas. The underside of this island is much, much bigger than it appears. Really? Jesse's right. If we strip this whole island down to nothing, it might just be enough. Stop pushing! I'm not pushing! Lucas is pushing! I'm just trying to keep away from the edge! It's all edge! Okay, gang, I think that should do it. Let's make ourselves a bridge. Excellent! Okay, this is our stop. Everybody off. Ivor, seriously? <laughs> Sorry. Can't help myself. You're building? I... you... I, I... I don't... Hey, you seen a bunch of punks in matching jackets? Call themselves the Blaze Rods? I'm... I'm... I, I'm, I'm sorry, but I, I can't talk to you. Why? Y you... 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 you were building! Uh, unauthorized building is against the law! Wait, there's a law saying people can't build? Yes, it's forbidden! This... this makes no sense! No sense at I, all! I, I... I... well, uh... that's the law? Oh, jeez, I'm sorry. We had no idea. It's a stupid law. Oh, jeez. First those other outsiders, now you. Other outsiders? Where are uh, they? Uh, uh, they went to the inn. I I'm sorry, but that's all I know. Wait, wait, wait. Come I'm back. super busy. Sorry. And he's gone. <sighs> Darn. I wonder if everyone here is that... nervous. Wow. Incredible. It's unbelievable. Who made it? Whoever it was must have had the Eversource. It's the only explanation for the copious amount of rare materials they used to build it. And when I get my hands on it... Hey, how about you take a massive chill pill and we find it first? Yes, 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 yes! I'm just getting excited. And as crazy as Aiden's been lately, if he gets that thing, it would be bad. Well, if we beat him to it, he won't be able to get his slimy little hands on the thing. I'm starting to think that maybe we should try and keep a low profile while we look for the inn. These people seem pretty suspicious of us. Agreed. Hello! It is nice to meet you!
Sorry, stranger. Can't come up here. And where should I put them? Yes, just get them here. I'll deal with them. Get out of here. Go, go! Uh, why, hello there. What can I do for you? I'm not sure what the custom is where you come from, but uh, here it is considered impolite to stare. Especially when people are doing boring things not worth staring at, like simply minding their own business next to a wall. Uh, hi, I'm sorry to bother you. Are you Milo? Yes, yes, that's me. A pleasure to meet you. Uh, don't see many new arrivals here in Sky City. Now, what can I do for you, friend? I'm busy, but I can spare a moment for a friendly stranger. I heard you talk to the Blaze Rods earlier. What did they want? Hmm. Hmm. Blaze Rods. Hmm. I... I don't know any Blaze Rods. You must have been misled. I'm sorry, but it's like I told those other outsiders. I can't help you. Now, please. Hey, this our guy? He tell you where to find the Blaze Rods? How many of you are there? I told you, I don't know anything. He hasn't told you anything yet? Come on, you can trust me. Nothing bad is gonna happen, just help us. Fine, if it will make you leave me alone. That Aiden fellow did come talk to me earlier. Wanted to know where the Eversource was. Called it! I just told him what everyone else already knows. The Eversource is in the palace with the Founder. That's all that happened, I swear. What a bunch of creeps. Yes, I wasn't terribly fond of them. So where is Aiden now? The group left for the palace, and I haven't seen them since. Attention! Attention, everyone! Just a moment of your time, please. Emergency meeting attendance is mandatory. Oh, slime blocks. Curious. I wonder what that's all about. Oh, it's the founder. I wonder what this is all about. Yes, I'm nervous being surrounded by so many people. You'll be fine, Ivor. Guys, I think I found the blaze rods. Oh no. What are they doing? People of Sky City, I'm sorry to pull you from your duties, but something urgent has come to my attention. A crime has been committed. A crime? What kind please, of crime? Please, please remain calm. Earlier today, outsiders built a bridge into our fair city from a distant island. Now, whether these outsiders know it or not, this is a violation of Sky City's most sacred law. No unauthorized building. Wait, is that you? Are you the bridge builders? Obscene the builders! Atrocious. Everyone, everyone, please. I didn't know it was against the law. It was just a bridge. This is nuts! Jesse, wherever you are, step forward now. I have already been informed of your identity. I appreciate that you may be ignorant of our laws, but I will warn you, Sky City is small, and I promise that if you try to hide, I will find you. We need to get to that ever source at whatever cost. This is clearly our fastest way into the castle. Am I getting arrested? Wait! Don't be fooled by the Founder's lies. I can help you come up with a plan to get into the palace. Here I am! I built the bridge! Are you crazy? Does she look like she's gonna help us? Hey! Unhand me! Come with me! This is completely unnecessary! Jesse! We need to get out of here! Sorry, I, I'm going with Milo. Me too! Quick then! Follow me! Wait, wait! Hey, I'm coming hey, peacefully! That's them! They're getting away! After them! Jesse, run! Get up. Run! I think she's over there! Come on! Where are you going? <laughs> Just in here, yes. There's nowhere to hide in here. It's a dead end. 
Before I take you to any further, you must take an oath. I think they went this way. You must swear to never reveal what I'm about to show you. What? Do you swear that? Milo, I solemnly swear that I will never tell your secret to anyone else. Fantastic. Philippe? Right this way. This is Build Club. Whoa. Everything you see before you was built from resources that my people have saved or uh, obtained. Man, it can't be easy to come by some of this stuff. Nice work. It can be difficult, it's true. Many items have to be snuck under the noses of guards. Wow, and so are you the leader of this little outfit? Yes, I suppose you could say that. You see, one day, a long time ago, I was just a citizen of Sky City, like any other. I wanted to make a community garden, so I put in a petition for a dirt block, and mercy me, it was granted. But in my excitement and haste to build my garden, I accidentally dropped my new block, and it fell right over the edge. For my crime, I was tossed into the Founder's Dungeons. And I was in there for a very, very long time. Oh, how I grew to hate that dungeon. Well, okay, but it was an accident. They can't lock you up for that, can they? Oh, but they can. It was deemed an egregious wasting of resources. You see, in our world, when something falls over the edge, it is gone forever. But I have always believed in my heart that just because building is risky, it doesn't mean that no one should do it. If only I had known you were builders sooner, I would have helped you all escape when I first met you, rather than let your friends be taken. But at least you are here, yes? I would like to save Lucas. And Ivor, I guess. Milo, your people are rebels, willing to fight the system. Will they help us save our friends? Why, I think they hey, might. Milo! Ah, hello, my friends. Bringing in outsiders? Seriously? Pretty hard to keep this a secret club if you just bring people in. Yeah, we have it hard enough as it is. Everyone, please! Yeah, it's hard enough without you bringing in a couple of randos. I'm sorry to come barging in like this. We just really need your help. And we're going to give it to them, right, guys? These aren't just any outsiders. They're the ones who built that magnificent bridge into town today. Dude! What? Milo, jeez! Milo, are you kidding me? The most wanted criminals in the whole city? We gotta turn them in before the guards break our door down. Well, no, let's not do that. I assure you, harboring them is worth the risk. They are the epitome of Build Club material. Builders, I'm not sure. They say they're builders. Oh, perhaps a challenge? All right, then. If Milo says you're these amazing builders, prove it. Yeah, build something. Now, see here, this is all highly disrespectful to my guests. I'm the leader here. Just point out a crafting table, and Jesse will give you a show. You'll see. Fine. We don't know many recipes, so if you just show us something that they build where you come from, you're gonna be just fine, Jesse. Jesse, it took us many weeks to scrape together this inventory. Please, use them for your build. build oh, build, thanks. Build, 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 Let's see here. Anyone got something to take notes with? No. Darn. I guess I'll just have to try to remember all this then. <gasps> Wait, mercy! Uh, uh, Jesse, what is that thing? Is it is is it safe? Fear not, everyone. The golem is under my control and obeys my every whim. I am so sorry we ever doubted you. Your building is truly magnificent. We all bow to you. I can understand why the guards are after you. I mean, that was awesome. Right? I told you. Yeah, we're really sorry. Wowzers. So sorry. <sighs> yeah. 
Sorry. Hey, these things happen. Apologies totally accepted, dudes. Now, uh, how about that whole getting us into the palace thing? Yeah, that would be great. Ah, yes, of course, of course. That is, after all, why you are here. I must say, though, after seeing you in action, your skills are even more impressive than I could have imagined. So impressive that I wonder if I could implore you for a tiny favor. What kind of favor? I help you get into the palace. You help me steal the Eversource for my people. Unlimited resources for everyone! Okay, but my friends are in trouble in there. So for breaking into the palace, we're going to save them. This is an acceptable and noble arrangement. Good. Now, as for how to get into the palace, according to my informants, the founder keeps the Eversource behind a secret door located in her throne room. Dramatic. Every night, the founder leaves guards at every door, but there's a single window at the back of the palace that is left unguarded. It's an almost perfect point of entry, but it is far too high. <laughs> if we can find a way through that window, the Eversource would be practically within our grasp. Guys, how high it is doesn't matter. What? You just have to start thinking like real builders and craft a solution. Yeah, like a ladder. Building ladders? Craft a way in? If you could show us how to craft something that would reach the window, we could get this heist underway. Jesse, we will never forget this day. Okay, my friends. This should take us right into the throne room. Once inside, we will just need to find the secret entrance that the founder supposedly uses. Isn't it exciting? On our way to changing everything! Freeing the Eversource for the people! This sounds risky, Milo. The throne room doesn't exactly seem like a low-security part of the palace. I know. Isn't it thrilling? I know. I know. Why are you saying things to me that I already... Whoa! Oh. Jesse! Jesse! Petra! Boy, am I glad to see you guys. Right back at ya. So glad you two are okay. What happened to you? We were in the dungeon, but we broke out. It's a good thing you guys are here. Aiden's going after the Eversource. Which we obviously can't abide. We're here to get it first. Fantastic. That is what we are doing as well. Who, uh, who's this guy, by the way? I mean, I assume he's cool, right? Why would you assume that? He's cool, Ivor. Don't worry. Lucas, Ivor, this is Milo. He's the leader of an underground rebellion. Wow. That's pretty cool. A pleasure. Yeah. Hi. Sure. The Founder's secret entrance is supposed to be somewhere in this throne room. If it's in here, we'll find it. getting a very door vibe from this. Yeah. What happened to it? Just need to make something to activate that redstone circuit again. There's gotta be something in here we can use. Like a lever. If you can find one of those bad boys, we'll have that secret door open in a snap! If I had a lever, this would be the perfect spot for it. of the Enderman. 
By Soren? Wow, how'd that get here? Can you believe it? We got in. Yes, I'm very grateful to you for all of your help. Give yourself some credit, Milo. You've done Build Club proud. Poor dead bush. Barely more than a bundle of sticks. Hopefully no one will miss one dead bush. Perfect. Huh. <gasps> a cobblestone generator. Amazing! Lava and water. Placed exactly far enough that when they collide, it creates cobblestone! Genius! That is ingenious! Yeah, and it should be just the thing to make a lever with that stick I found. Okay, let's do this. Ah, my old friend the lever. Fantastic! Yeah. Didn't know you were watching. My apologies. It is still just such a thrill to see someone so confident and sure in their building abilities. Source, here we come. <sighs> wow, look at all these chests. Yeah, and they're all labeled? Creeper, zombie. Sheep? Pigman? Curious. But what does it mean? Huh. Eggs? The sign says sheep, not eggs. Might as well throw it and give it a shot? A sheep? Is... is that a monster? That is not so bad. It is fluffy. The eggs all have creatures inside them. And they're all different colors. They must be, you know, color-coded what's in them. So she can just spawn things whenever she wants to. So the Eversource makes these spawn egg things. Stay on your toes! We're close! Ah, I can't wait! Let's take a look around. Source is a chicken? What? Yes. The spawn eggs. It's so simple. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. That's the Eversource? So the chicken lays the eggs, and the eggs make monsters, and the loot from the monsters made this place. Well, throw it in the minecart and let's get out of here. We're still taking it, right? The chicken that the entire city depends on? Are you sure that's a good idea? What are you talking about? We need to bring it to the people! With it, we'll finally be free of the Founder! But that clucking thing is what we came for! Ah! 
I knew it. I knew you were here to steal from me. Ah! Uh, pain! Oh, she's too fast! Just give me a second to catch my breath. No, no, no. No one stealing anything. The chicken, the, the Eversource is staying right here where it belongs. Don't worry. It's just like I told you, Founder. They're here to steal the Eversource. Classic Order of the Stone. You don't say. What? No! Don't believe them! You have the wrong idea! Shut up, criminals. Are you kidding me? You'll just want it for yourself! You just expect me to believe a bunch of criminals? Aiden warned me that you were a pack of thieves. And here you are, prepared to make off with the one thing our city depends on to survive. Boy, when you put it like that, I almost feel bad. Yep, afraid I'm going to be taking the chicken. It's mine now. What? This is outrageous. Aiden, don't do this. Somebody order eggs. Creeper, look out! I've got Aiden! Save the found Oh, you got me, Lucas. I got your back, Lucas! Stay down, Eat Lucas! This. Thanks, Jesse. I don't believe it. You, uh, doing okay over there? I just, I... I can't believe it. <sighs> this has been down here the whole time. I forbade anyone to look for land below us. It was too dangerous. A, a lost cause. Yeah, I think people will be pretty upset when they learn that this was down here the whole time. I, I was too cautious. I didn't want to create false hope. And I was so certain that the only thing down here was death. It's all just so enormous. Just, just grass everywhere. I can barely process what I'm seeing. What, what do I do now? Once my people see this, I... I have a lot of planning to do. I suppose... First things first, I need to get back up to my people. Jesse, look out! What's going on up 
tallest thing you ever built. What? We're gonna build a tower of dirt all the way back up to Sky City. Grab as much dirt as you can carry. Oh, okay. That should do it. Jesse, what is that? to save. You ready? I believe so. And when I get up there, I'm going to tear those blaze rods limb from limb. under attack by monsters, ma'am. Everywhere. They seem to be coming from inside the palace itself. Come on, we need to stop him. I'm sorry, Jesse, but I have to save my people. Take care of yourself out there, okay? And to you as well. Jesse, you're alive. Please, can you help us? Hang tight, Milo. on your feet. But with all seriousness, how are you alive? I saw you go over the edge. Hey, quick version. You know how you all thought there was nothing but void below you? Yes. Yeah, that was wrong. There's land. <gasps> you speak truthfully, my friend? <sighs> well, I can't wait to hear all about it later. We gotta get to the palace. Thank you, my friend. We'll see you on the other side. Aiden has taken over the palace. He's holed up in the throne room, throwing those spawn eggs everywhere. No one can get inside! We need to stop him. I know. Jesse, take one of these. They're all locally sourced and handcrafted. I use only the best ingredients. Got any potions of invisibility? Here! Stop what you can't see. Back down and get out of my face, Reggie! You're the 
delusional, Aiden. The people of Sky City will never bow to you. You killed the founder. Yeah? Well, you're gonna be next if you don't shut up. Now you listen here. I'm the captain of the guard. You can't just talk to me that way. I'll talk to you however I want, Reggie. Hey, jerkwad, leave him alone. I saw you fall. You went down. You're alive. You're alive. He's the founder with you. Ah! I what the? Reginald. Not one more step. I killed you once. I could do it again. Just hand over the chicken, Aiden. Hand it over before I make you hand it over. Just die already! Should have left while you had the chance! Someone else in the spotlight, can you? You just can't let anyone else win. Oh, it just drives you crazy to see someone else succeed, doesn't it? Aiden, look around you. It's over. Give up. No! You don't get to tell me that! Leave him. He made his bed, he can lie in it. What? No! You can't just... How dare you! Stop ignoring me! No! 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 no!
retrieve the Eversource. Yes, ma'am. Everyone, stay together! Jesse, there you are! Jesse, the situation is getting out of hand. We simply can't stop all the monsters and protect my people. The longer we stay here, the more danger my people will be in. We need to get out of here. The waterfalls. The waterfalls can take us to safety. What? Are you crazy? The waterfalls will just take us into the void. We'll die if we fall down there. But there's nothing but monsters up here. The void won't kill you. There's land down there. Everyone just watch me and follow my lead, okay? Jesse has done nothing but help us so far. I will show you just how much I believe in Jesse's word. You enough. You've saved us all. So what do we do now? Everything's just so different and scary. But exciting? I wonder what happened to Aiden. Stop right there! You're not going anywhere, Aiden. I'm done. I'm done. Now, this is just speculation, but I'm guessing they have some regrets. I knew they wouldn't get away. <laughs> what goes around comes around, am I right, guys? Attention! Attention! Hello, hello, everyone, please. This is your founder speaking. Now that we're all safe, we need to organize. Start planning our new community. Are you listening to yourself? That's insane! We were prisoners long enough on that island in the sky. It is time for us to run free. Build whatever we please. Wow, those two just cannot get along. Jesse, I cannot allow my people to be influenced by this naive idealist. Bah! I'm sure I do look like a naive idealist through the eyes of an oppressive dictator. Watch your tongue, mister. No, you don't understand. It will be night soon, and that is when the monsters come out. If we don't prepare, we'll be in danger. You're just making excuses to control our behavior, just like before. We must trust in ourselves, be able to learn from our mistakes. The people need to build! W what do we do? Well, I think you're both right. You don't want to just run around with no plan, but you can't schedule and organize everything either. People need to be free to try new things, but you've got to be safe about it. I suppose I still have much to learn. Thank you, Jesse. I don't understand yet, but I trust you. Well, Jesse, I suppose the era of Sky City is over. We may disagree about how to run this place, but I thank you for everything you have done. I guarantee that we will be telling stories about your visit for many, many years to come. The day that Sky City was liberated. This is a second chance at making a civilization. Don't waste it, okay? I don't intend to. I give my solemn oath. You know something? She was a little scary at first, but... She's alright. <laughs> I'm gonna miss that crazy guy. 
I guess we should prepare for nightfall too. Without another portal, we're stuck here. Been a while since I've had to start from square one. Well, you shouldn't worry so much. I've got our way home all figured out. When I was on the ground with the founder before I totally found the portal. And you didn't say anything? Yeah. I'm actually gonna have to agree with Ivor on this one. I guess the moment just never presented itself. Come on. Oh, hi. Ah, oh, there you are. So sorry about her. That's okay. Looks like she's having fun running around. Yes, I think she took it pretty well when I told her she didn't need to be the Eversource anymore. What are we gonna do with you now, huh? What are you going to do now? Besides, continue to be adorable, of course. <laughs> but that was a given. Are you gonna set her free? I tried to, actually, but she kept coming back. We've spent so long together, I suppose we sort of need each other now. After so long being the founder and the Eversource, now we can just be Isa and her best friend, Benedict. Ah, uh, that's a boy's name. Huh, what a closed-minded attitude. Jesse, I would be honored if you would take this as a small token of our gratitude. Thank you. Come along, Benedict. We have a lot of adventures ahead of us. Well, there goes the Eversaurs. Off to cluck and peck at seeds for the rest of its valuable life. Hey, Jesse. You okay? Jesse? Yeah, I'm fine. Come on, let's head home. See? Just like I told you, one portal back home. Whew, what a huge relief. I was worried we'd be stuck here forever. I just can't wait to put this whole world behind us. Oh, is someone being grumpy? No! A little. I was just hoping for a real treasure is all. <laughs> Livestock's no proper treasure. Although I wonder what would happen if you put that tiny crown on a different chicken. Come on, guys. Let's go home. We don't Axel and Olivia here when we've been. They'll never believe it. That's not what I was expecting.